What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we got to talk about what happened on this episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Shout out to the homie. And I want to give the proper shout out because he uh, had sent a sign that he was going to take to the show prior to, like earlier this week. And he actually took it to SmackDown. He was sitting um, on the ramp entrance way and he was, you know, right by where the you know the wwe wrestlers and stars come down to the ramp to the, the wrestling ring he's right there so the camera sees when he's putting up the sign shout out to top flight uh productions top flight underscore 580 on instagram he was the one that made the uh smackdown uh in the clutch sign he had our uh, in the clutch logo and he had the, the new smackdown sign logo let me pull it up once again because i uh, i saw that he was gonna do it i just you know i actually forgot about it he said smackdown is clutch man I, I thought that was really dope i'm gonna post an image on here so y'all can see it so shout out to you man thank you so much for actually doing that you know his sign the sign was shown throughout the show so i thought that was pretty tough and a lot of people were hitting us up on twitter dub even saw it true billy saw it so uh, we appreciate you thank you so much for doing that for us man but we got to talk about, obviously, what went down on this show and the the main story, the main theme of this particular show is Randy Orton and Kevin Owens issues with Cody Rhodes essentially helping Roman Reigns at Bad Blood. So Randy Orton comes out there, starts off the show, and he, he he's honest. He's like, look, you know, I'm finally back on SmackDown. And, uh, you know, I heard that... Uh, Cody's going to be helping Roman Reigns. And I'm I'm be honest with you. I feel some type of way about that. You know, after everything the bloodline has put me through, you know, I'm 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 actually kind of concerned what's going on here. So hey, if you're back there, Cody, come on out. Let's have a conversation. Cody comes out there and uh he lets them know, like, look, you know, this is, you know, I understand y'all history, you know, your history with the bloodline and me helping Roman Reigns, but uh this is essentially to come to a common uh agreement the new bloodline this new form uh formation of this bloodline with the tongans and jacob fatu and solo sokoa they need it needs to be killed and i'm i'm teaming up with roman not because you know i'm cool with him it's a necessary evil to finally get rid of this new version of the bloodline so i hope you understand where i'm coming from that's why I'm doing this. And Randy's like, you know what? I understand. I, I get where you're coming from. You know, it's, it's it's no problem unless it becomes a problem, you know? And that's, that's that little, I guess you can say, extra tease of what could possibly come down the line. Because right now, Randy's like, I, I, get, I get the greater, the greater good that you're trying to do here. But at the same time, if it becomes a problem for me, then we gonna have a problem. So I like that. I like that. Randy understands, but he's also let, he's warning him: if it becomes an issue, we gonna have an issue. Then Kevin Owens comes out there. We still didn't get any real clear indication of how Kevin truly feels because he got interrupted last week, and more or less before Kevin Owens could even speak, he got interrupted again. This time by Solo Sokoa. And Solo comes out there and he's basically trying to fuel the messy fires. He's like, I get why you're teaming up with Roman. It makes sense. It makes sense that you would team up with him because he would probably be the only person that could really help you. Because every time you've teamed up with Randy and KO, every time you've teamed up with them, you failed. You can't get, you can't stop us with them. You may be able to stop us with Roman, but you can't stop us with Randy and KO. So he's kind of fueling the, the tension between all of them, which I do appreciate. That's that's what you should do as a heel. You should try to stoke those flames of them turning on each other. So KO being the crash out character that he is, he's like, you know what? I don't give a damn about none of this. Hey, how about this? We settle this right now. Me and randy versus you two jacob and solo in the main event tonight let's get it going and you know solo obviously accepts 
But then Cody decides to say, well, I mean, I see there's three of us out here. Why don't we, you know what I'm saying, make it even better? And we we have a, a three on three. But then KO says, no, 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 nah, no offense. But you have your tag team match coming up with Roman. Let us do our tag team thing by ourselves. So at that point there, it's very obvious. KO's not saying it. He's not saying it, but he does not like the fact that he's helping Roman at all. And remember, this kind of goes back to when KO was being brought into the position to have a number one contender match with with um with Cody Rhodes and how Nick Aldis uh essentially was like, you know, maybe we can get a title match to to Randy uh to to Roman Reigns and you saw how mad he got. He was like, there's in, there's so many other people that deserve a title match before Roman Reigns and all this other stuff. And it was just to, you know, kind of rouse him up. But you saw that's how he felt per character, per storyline. So, of course, Cody helping Roman? Of course. He's, he's definitely not, you know, feeling Cody Rhodes right now. So, later on in the show, you hear before Cody even comes in there in the locker room getting ready, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, you hear... Kevin Owens saying, and yeah, man, they, they, you know, they took you out. Like they injured you, you know, they took you out of action. And, you know, is the fact that he's helping them. And then he kind of stopped what he was saying. Cause obviously Cody's trying to talk to him. Like, Hey Cody, can we talk? Uh, Cody's like, Hey, can we, uh, Kevin Owens, can we talk? And Kevin Owens like, nah, I gotta get ready for a match. Uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. We'll talk later. He's like, Hey man, I, I think we really should talk. You know, and then Kevin Owens gets mad. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm about to go get dressed. We'll talk about it later. And he told him, hey, I don't want you out there tonight. Don't help us. We good. We don't need you. So afterwards, Randy's like, let him cool down. Um, But we we may need you tonight because we know the Tongans are going to come out there. It's going to be a two on four situation. It will be nice if you came out there and help. And I'll tell him I'll talk to him. So you knew at some point that's exactly what was going to happen. We got to the main event, and that's when the Tongans come out, and obviously Cody Rhodes comes out there to even, somewhat even up the odds. And it looks as if Kevin Owens is about to win because Kevin Owens hits the stunner. Kevin Owens hits the stunner on solo. The match is essentially over. All he has to do is go for the pin, but then Jacob Fatu throws him into the ring. Somehow, he ends up rolling the ref's ankle. That ref is not able to count the one, two, three. KO's like, what the hell are you doing? Get out the ring. And ultimately, the uh, the bloodline is able to capitalize off that distraction. And they end up winning. And Randy Orton and Kevin Owens lose. All because, essentially, of the distraction from, Kevin, from uh, Cody Rhodes, who was just there. To help. So at the end, you see um Kevin Owens is pissed. Like he's pushing Cody. Cody's trying to tell him what's going on. He's pushing Cody. And at some point he gets in Cody's face. Uh Randy Orton is trying to separate him. And the camera cuts to a uh, solo with the bloodline. Like, look at him. Look, go, go ahead. Look. They they're not even working together. Look at him. They're imploding. And essentially, Kevin Owens is like damn near looking like he's won a fight. Cody Rhodes, but uh, Randy's able to separate them, cool them off, cooler heads prevail, and they start hugging each other as the credits roll. But you know it's happening. It's happening. They're setting it up. It's happening. The question is, when does it happen? I do think we do get some turn, some sort of turn. I don't know about the Randy turn yet. They're They're trying to, they're building up to it. They're building up to it. I think we may see the Kevin Owens turn first. And honestly, this could be a very great way to really change Cody's dynamic because the people that are his friends are now turning on him. And let's be honest, you're the champ. You're the champ. It's hard to have good friends when you're the top guy. Because eventually somebody's going to want that championship. Eventually they're going to want to be the top guy. Eventually, you know, Randy Orton's going to want another world championship run. 
So they're they're playing it up perfectly. And you can really expound on that. That could be if they wanted to, and I'm talking about later down the line, that could be a thing that turns Cody, all his close friends in the business, turn on him for whatever reason. Obviously, because he's a champ. That can that can be something that that he uh that they do if they want to. But I do like the seeds have been planted and it's starting to make sense. It makes sense why Randy and KO would feel some type of way about them helping their biggest op that they've had for the past few years. That's how you do it. They shouldn't be, damn, are we cool with it, bro? We understand. No. Roman Reigns has been causing terror for three plus years. Roman Reigns per storyline is the reason why Randy Orton was gone for so long. Not everybody's going to be cool with him once he becomes the good guy. That's how it should be. And I like that. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys like where they're heading with this storyline with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens not being okay with what Cody Rhodes has been doing as of late involving the bloodline and teaming up with Roman Reigns? And, and who do y'all feel like will turn heel first? Do you think it's going to be the obvious and Kevin Owens being the one to finally turn on Cody? Or do you think maybe Randy Orton's lying in wait and eventually he turns on Cody first? Y'all let me know how you th how y'all think it's going to play out. But I appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.